Hi, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to be finally merging branches. So we're getting closer to the end of the source tree section since we ran through everything pretty quickly actually. All of the videos were under five, six minutes. So uh, we can clearly see how much we've progressed in Git and hopefully you've progressed in Git uh, as much as I feel that everyone has. All right, so enough of that. Let's start with merging branches in source tree. So merging branches in source tree is really not that difficult. It brings up a little wizard. You can select the branches that you want to merge and it's just overall a very, very easy process. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're checked in or checked. Yeah, you're checking out the master branch or whatever branch you want to merge your target branch into. So for example, if I want to merge my error branch into the master branch, what I would do is make sure I'm checked out on the master, just like we were doing in the terminal. Next thing you want to do is right up here, you're just going to click on merge and it's going to bring up this wizard here. So it's going to say up here, pick a commit to merge into your current branch. So what we're going to do is select this, the fixed website error branch. Next thing I want to do, go ahead and click OK. And there we go. You can see now master and error are on the same page. They're on the same branch. So that's all working perfectly. So you can see there that all of the commits up to there are working fine. And then we have our error one and our master branch right there. So it says fixed website error. So you can see new fake website created. And then here it says fixed website error and the error has been removed. So you can see that branches are really easy to work with uh, in source tree. Like I said in the last video, even merging becomes such an such a simple topic and let's not try and you know say everything's easy because we haven't gone to the remote part yet but for now I think we can say it's safe to say that most of this stuff is quite easy I mean we've already finished merging the branches and uh, so everything just becomes a lot easier when using this all right so enough about talking about how good source tree is and how GUIs are great for a git let's actually move on to finally deleting this branch since we don't really need it anymore so what you're gonna do is right click on the branch and right here, there's a few options, but what you're going to do is click on delete ERR01. Now it says here, are you sure you want to delete the following branches? Uh, you can also do a force delete. I'm just going to click OK. And there you go. Now we only have the master branch left. Now, like I said, if you want to keep your branches, for example, to development branch, go ahead. Uh, but because that was an error fixing branch, you don't really need to uh, you don't really need to keep it because that's mostly created just for security in case something goes wrong. So yeah, there we go. We merged the branches and we deleted them. And obviously, as your as your development projects get a little bit more complex, you're going to need to create multiple branches with multiple commits. But following the same rule that has been taught in this course, I'm sure that you can uh, take care of any problems you might have. All right, there we go. So we're done with merging branches. In the next video, we're going to move on to push and pull requests and finally bringing everything together with GitHub. All right, let's move on.